Welcome to the Zero Expert Tech Tip, where we'll show you how to configure Data Manager M for Zero Export at the grid connection point. You can configure Zero Export either with the assistant at the same time as when you commission Data Manager M or via the relevant menus once you have completed installation. Before starting, make sure that a compatible energy meter is installed at the grid connection point and that Data Manager has detected it. This could be the SMA energy meter or a Modbus energy meter such as the Janitsa UMG604 or the Elcor Watts On Mark II, which is commonly used in the US. For both energy meters, profiles have been created and can be selected. You can do this via the device registration menu item, as I will show you now. An SMA energy meter is detected and configured in the device registration menu by clicking on the configuration button of SMA Speedwire devices. Select and save the relevant energy meter in the menu that will then pop up. A Janitsa UMG604 Modbus energy meter can also be set up via the device registration menu. To do so, click on Modbus Devices Configuration, then assign a device name and enter the IP address, port, normally 502, and unit ID, under which the device can be accessed. Please note that in future releases an additional field will be added here. This field will allow the entry of the device's serial numbers. Select the relevant assignment from the list of mapping files that has already been created. Now save this configuration. If other Modbus TCP energy meters are to be used, you can define profiles for them. This will be covered in a separate tech tip, but we will just show you where you can do that. For the zero export function, you now have to configure the registered energy meter as a grid feed-in and purchase electricity meter. You can do this via the meter configuration menu item. In the example here, we'll use the SMA energy meters for purchase electricity, respectively grid reference counter, and the other one for grid feed-in counter. Since we had two energy meters available in our example here, we used both. But you could use just one for both purposes, grid reference and grid feed in counter. The energy meter is a bidirectional counter, so that'll work just fine. If an energy meter has been set up like this at the grid connection point, you can now start configuring zero export. Do this either in the assistant or during subsequent configuration by selecting the grid management menu item. In this area, you can configure active power and reactive power settings for grid management services. For zero export, you need to make active power settings. To start the grid management service assistant, select configuration and activation next to active power. The assistant will take you through the five steps involved in this configuration process then. Two operation modes are now available. Open loop control is used when the power set points apply only to the generation power of the PV system and when no measurement is necessary at the grid connection point. Closed loop control is used when the power set points apply at the grid connection point. In this case, the power at the grid connection point has to be measured. Data Manager M then uses the measured values to control the output power of the inverters so that the defined feed in power, 0 to 100%, at the grid connection point is maintained. In both cases, the power set points can be either set via the user interface or received from external sources, digital, analog, or Modbus. For zero export, the specification at the grid connection point applies, so you should select closed loop control. Go to the next step by clicking next. Now select manual control as a signal source for the set point. Go to step 3 by clicking Next. For zero expert, you have to set the active power set point to 0%. 
This will ensure that the inverters generate energy for self-consumption only and do not feed any energy into the utility grid. Go to step 4 by clicking Next. Using the rate of set point change, you can define a ramp for how quickly the active power is to change for each second value that has been set. For some grid operators, it's important for grid stability reasons for the active power feed in not to change suddenly, but instead to change via a ramp. This is the case for dynamic limited active power reduction, for example 70%. For zero expert as well, this parameter is activated and the interval is set to 1 second and the active power gradient to 100%. This setting will ensure the rapid active power adjustment necessary for zero export. Once we have done that, go to the last step by clicking Next. In the final step, you first have to define a value for the repeat cycle. This specifies the time in seconds when, at the latest, the setpoint is sent from Data Manager M to the inverters. If the setpoint changes, for example due to a new measured value from the energy meter, Data Manager M will immediately send a new setpoint to the inverters so that the active power can be adjusted. If the setpoint does not change, the same value will be repeated after the specified time, here 20 seconds. This ensures that the fallback process, loss of communication due to a missing setpoint, for the inverters is not triggered. The set value must be less, ideally half the time, than the value set in the inverter. This is the last step in the process of configuring the grid management services for zero export. To conclude the process, click Save after we have filled in all the blanks. The settings can be edited at any time via To the Configuration or by clicking on Delete and Disable. You can now see your grid management service settings and results on the dashboard. More information on this topic can be found on our homepage.